What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and in today's episode we go through Justin's new bike. So let's get it going. <laughs> who is Justin you might ask? Well, I'll tell you who he is. If you've been watching my videos, uh, he has actually come out in a few of them. As a matter of fact, I first started mountain biking, he was there. And he was actually the one that saved my ass at Sky Park when I OTB'd on the jump line. So we have history and we've ridden together before. He did some light riding, kind of fell out of it because the area we were in out there in the middle of the desert, you have to kind of really be, you know, into it. Um, but now that we're both in the same area over here in San Diego, he decided, you know what, let's kick this up a notch. He got a dope bike and we're gonna go through it today. All right, so like I said in the intro, we're gonna be going through Justin's new bike. And this bike is a Polygon Siskiyou T8. It's a very capable trail bike. And we're gonna go through the components initially. Justin in the end will let us know his personal thoughts. All right, so in the front over here, we have a Fox 34 with 150 millimeters of travel, accompanied by in the back, the Fox float, in the rear that has 140 millimeters of travel. And the great thing about this bike, it comes with Shimano drivetrain, some SLX, a clutch derailleur, great bike all the way around. Dropper post is also not a house brand dropper post. It's actually a Trans X dropper post, which are very good. I haven't heard of anybody having any issues with those. And it's about 120 millimeters worth of travel on the dropper post. All right, and for stopping power, we have two piston calipers up front with 180 millimeter rotors, accompanied by two piston calipers in the rear with 180 millimeter rotors, which is great. You don't really see that very often on a bike that's sub $3,000. So that's definitely an upgrade. Along with these tires. These are some knobby tires. They look very aggressive. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but these things look like they'll grip onto anything. So finishing up with that, we're gonna go ahead and go with Justin's views and initial thoughts of this bike and see what he thinks. So uh, right out of the box, uh, it was a great bike. Had no issues, uh, all the hills, tires ripped great. Uh, when, we, when we first got it, I had to do a little bit of fine tuning on the suspension, which is just personal preference, getting it into your your riding zone, but haven't had an issue with, with anything since. Dropped the chain twice, uh, but again, that's the first clutch derailleur I had, and I didn't have the clutch engaged, so it happens. But back to you. <laughs> Back to me. So, other than that, that's really all we got for this video. Enjoy these clips, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.
Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs>